We are going to be doing our Canyon drive here in the Titan Pro 4X. First off, we're resetting the fuel economy. So the average was 17.6 miles per gallon, but we're going to get our uh, Canyon fuel economy, which will be pretty interesting to see. Uh, most of this video is going to be driving up the Canyon, but as soon as I'm down at the very bottom of the Canyon, then I'll show you guys the fuel economy again. So you guys can see how it kind of catches up. Obviously driving down the Canyon, we will get better fuel economy than driving up the Canyon. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this canyon's pretty steep. It's about six miles long, roughly. And I believe the elevation gain is 4,000 or 4,500 feet, uh, roughly. And so it's a pretty uh, large, it's a pretty steep climb, I should say, rather. And it makes it one of the most dangerous canyons uh, in the US because of how steep it is. But this should really uh, push the truck uh, from a fuel economy standpoint. And then also from an acceleration standpoint, with that elevation gain, we're really gonna have uh, a very perceivable difference in power from where I'm sitting at the valley, which is about 4,500 feet to the top of the canyon, which like I said, I think it's about 9,000, it's about eight or 9,000 feet. I can't remember exactly, uh, but it'll be interesting to see. And so uh, with all that being said, well, enjoy the canyon drive. This will be a bunch of segmented clips because in total, this drive takes about almost an hour to get all the way up and then all the way back down. And so I'll just kind of show you guys some uh, key points here in the canyon. Now this first part of the canyon is the least steep or has the lowest percent grade out of any portion of the canyon. And then it starts to get a little bit steeper as we go up. You guys can see the average fuel economy right now is 11 miles per gallon. And the way that I drive up this canyon typically with most vehicles is you set a little bit of distance here with the person in front of you. You don't wanna to set too much distance because then you're probably going under the speed limit at that point. But you set a little bit of distance so that basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be on the accelerator pedal for most of the time, uh, but a few of these corners that you have to slow down for, you basically don't brake whatsoever. All you do is just let off the gas and kind of just coast through the corners. This canyon isn't really a high speed canyon by any means. And so you're able to do that from a driving perspective. And that should get us actually a little bit better fuel economy heading up the canyon versus coming into the corners, braking, and then obviously accelerating once we go out of the corners. But the thing I wanna mention is this truck drives really smooth on this road. Now this road, I believe was recently paved within the last two or three years. I can't remember exactly last time that they paved this road. So, I mean, it's relatively smooth. There are some little things in the road like right here but I mean, they really don't upset the truck. And the one thing that's really cool about the Pro 4X is it has a limited slip differential. And so it actually adds to the handling of the truck. And you guys probably saw my review. I was talking about this kind of drives more like a performance vehicle in a sense. And that definitely adds to it from the driving perspective. But you guys can see, I mean, the truck's fine. Like I am not having an issue whatsoever keeping up and now we're getting into the steeper part so i'll get back to you guys in just a moment once it gets a little bit steeper than this we are further along up the canyon now and i can definitely feel the elevation gain my ears keep <laughs> popping and that's one of the characteristics of this canyon is the elevation gain is so quick that you uh, definitely get the little air bubbles in your ears but you guys can see right there i literally didn't have to brake whatsoever just kind of let off the gas a little bit and then coast through and then it's just great the handling on this truck is really nice actually you get again tons of feedback through the steering with the titan which you don't get in a lot of other trucks uh, they're so with the electronic steering and everything they're so synthetic that you don't really know what's happening in the front end whereas this truck i feel a lot happening through with the front end. And this coincidentally is one of the steepest parts of the canyon and also one of the most dangerous because there's no guardrail. And you guys can probably see there's a pretty massive drop off. And uh, some people decide to just drive way too fast down the canyon. And well, you guys can probably piece together the rest. But yeah, the um, MPGs drop down to 8.9. Uh, coming up to the canyon. But again, you guys got to imagine we're pretty much on the gas the whole time at this point with how steep the grade is and with just the uh, elevation gain as well. We are getting a little bit of power loss with the truck, but I'm having no issue whatsoever uh, keeping up. And I mean, I know there's a Bronco Sport in front of me, but the speed limit's about 40 miles an hour and I'm not having any issues with staying at or above 40 miles an hour. It seems like the Bronco in front of me is having issues, but... <laughs> The uh, Titan is not whatsoever. We're coming up to one of the bigger corners in the canyon that you definitely have to slow down quite a bit. You guys can see the torque is great. 
I am not having an issue whatsoever with getting back up to speed with the Titan Pro 4X. It just does a really good job. Uh, and at this point, we're probably at about, I'd say 7,500 feet elevation roughly. I think that's, yeah, that's about this much at this part of the canyon, if I remember right. Then this is the passing lane. This is just for demonstration sake to see if you had to pass someone. Yeah, you can see just ride on a wave of torque right there and I mean it just gets up and it moves not an issue whatsoever with the Pro 4X now you do have that manual mode you guys remember so you could downshift into the manual mode and you guys can see I mean it just it goes so quick with the acceleration so again even though at this point now we're uh, getting closer to 8,000 feet elevation. And by the way, if you hold down the plus, then that puts it back into the automatic mode. But again, even though we're pretty close to about 8,000 feet elevation, and we're gonna have some power loss because it's an actually aspirated engine, the truck still, I mean, look, it's peppy. Like it gets up and moves and that nine speed knows right where to uh, put it. Look at the handling. This thing handles so nice for a truck. I am so excited to see how this does on some uh, dirt trails later this weekend. Uh, but I am going to be heading down. I don't want to go up to the very, very top portion of the canyon because then I'm going to get stuck in a uh, whole system of stuff just because it's a ski resort up here. Uh, but yeah, 7.9 miles per gallon doing some accelerations right there, driving up a canyon, which I think for a big pickup truck and an elevation gain that much, that's actually pretty dang good from a fuel economy standpoint. We are on the descent down the canyon. Now, most of this is going to be uh, braking uh, on going down the canyon. Now, something that is definitely a pro tip if you don't want to uh, completely use up your brakes when you are driving down a canyon and that's why the titan has the manual mode is you go into the manual mode and you don't have to shift into a super low gear uh, but if you just downshift into a lower gear and depending on how steep the uh, gradient is if you keep it usually between two to three thousand uh, rpms you still uh, will do a little bit of braking, but not nearly as much. Now you don't wanna have the RPM super high because then you're gonna put a ton of stress on the engine and this truck can take it. This engine's actually really reliable. It's one of the things I love about the Titans is this 5.6 liter V8. Uh, but that being said, if you don't wanna to put tons of stress in the engine, then two to 3000 uh, RPMs. And you guys can see it's doing just enough engine braking that it's keeping me right where I need to be speed wise. And then if I start going too slow, then you just upshift a gear, really easy to do, but definitely a huge recommendation. I see people way too many times, you guys can see the gradient right here is 9%. Um, I see people way too many times just ride their brakes all the way down, especially this canyon. You can smell them by the end and yeah, you will go through brake pads so fast if you do things like that. But you guys can see it's doing a pretty good job. Now the RPMs are a little bit too high there. So what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of uh, braking. And this, again, this is kind of like the steeper part. So you guys will be able to see how this performs from a braking perspective and then also with the little bit of engine braking that we're doing but yeah coming down the truck's doing really good and we're starting to catch up on the uh, mpg so we'll see what it ends up being once we get to the bottom of the canyon now this last part of the canyon then again is kind of the least steep part i've popped it back in the automatic mode because i really don't need a whole lot of engine braking at this point most of this is actually just going to be uh, coasting which again is going to be great for our uh, fuel economy number to get that up we're at 13.4 miles per gallon and oh it just popped up to 13.8 we're doing good guys anyways let's get into summing things up with this canyon drive and then the last clip in the video will be showing the final fuel economy when we're at the very bottom of the canyon so from a ride quality standpoint the truck's done a really good job now again this road was recently paved it's not the most beat up road uh, but still i mean the truck did a really good job with the cornering it was smooth coming up and down the canyon the back end didn't get upset and jump all over the place or anything like that it just did a really good job from a driving perspective with the ride quality with the suspension all of that and then in terms of the braking, the braking's perfect actually with the truck. You get really good feel through the pedal so you know exactly how much pressure you need to apply. This is one of those trucks that it's actually pretty easy to tell. Some trucks like you start pressing the brakes and then nothing happens and then you're like not sure exactly what's happening. Not with the Titan, it gives you so much feedback that you know exactly what you're supposed to do. And then with the acceleration, I mean we did get some power loss there at the top but 
it's still accelerated fine. So I think as a vehicle to drive up and down canyons, especially something as steep as this, I mean, the truck does such a good job. And yeah, no complaints for me. I really liked it. And we'll see the uh, final fuel economy now because we'll technically be leaving the canyon right here. Is, well, we started up there a little bit. So I'll wait, I'll wait till we get to the uh, official point that I started the video so that everything is all even. And I think that we can get to 15 miles per gallon Maybe, maybe we're, oh, there we go. 15.2 and we're almost to the starting point of the video. So, I mean, from a fuel economy standpoint, that's really good. I was honestly expecting to get something in the very low teens, uh, potentially single digits. Cause I mean, it's a truck and that's kind of what you expect driving up such a steep Canyon, but this truck's been really fuel efficient so far, which is pretty much surprised me because it has such a big engine and the starting point's just up there. So we'll call it 15.2 miles per gallon driving up and down a canyon. I 15.5, 15.5 miles per gallon driving up and down a canyon. I think that is solid. Uh, so yeah, I think two thumbs up for me for the Nissan Titan as a uh, canyon driving truck. It's actually fun and engaging to drive up and down a canyon. Gets good gas mileage. And it sounds nice when you got to do the accelerating. It's It's got that nice sounding V8, so it's a win all around.